Welcome to Undertale Comic TV. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you'll never miss a video. Enjoy! <laughs> huh? Hey, kid. Uh... Oh! Oh, sorry, Sans. I didn't see you there. So, I get that you said you had places to go, but to be honest, it doesn't look like you're going much of anywhere, pal. You know Toriel would take you in if you really didn't have anywhere else. Asgore too. Or is there another reason you're still down here? Maybe... guilt? <sighs> I'm not blind, kid. I don't know when, I don't know what, I don't know why, but it's clear something's been eating away at you. How many times did you walk straight into death, though? Ten? Twenty? A hundred? But you didn't fight back, even if no one could have blamed you for it. Of course, no one can blame you for shutting everything out, either. But, kid... Do you have any idea how unfair you're being? <laughs> you forgive everyone. Everyone but yourself. So now you're trying to close yourself away. You're not even giving the people that love you a chance to forgive you. Come on, kiddo. Let's get out of here. Sleep is the sport. SPORT! That's the last thing an exhausted person wants to do, bro. What do you know of sports? I mean, deport the idea because short my comfort because I don't support the idea. Do not begin with your terrible rhymes! Ignore them, my love. Tomorrow we speak well. Sleep well, Frisk. Illuminate your morning with my presence. Good night, kid. Good night, Frisk. You lie down with determination. all of a sudden. This reminds me of the days I waited for Peps to fall asleep to drink a bottle of ketchup in front of him without him knowing. It's a shame you only have wine. Don't you dare have this behavior when you take care of Frisk. Let me enjoy tonight before I become a responsible adult. You were the one who opened the- Shut up or I will end you. I mean, I understand. You're nervous. You're going to another country to represent your school, and your position as a teacher of children and monsters. Not only did you manage to fulfill your dream of becoming a teacher, but you'll also be a pillar of great change regarding how monsters are seen. You're amazing, Tori. Today you can sleep peacefully knowing that you're part of something incredible. Go for it. You can rest easy. I'll be here with Frisk feeling proud of you and your achievements. Oh. Sons, thank you so much. You did a great job taking care of your little brother. I know that if I leave, Frisk will be in good hands. What the? What's going on? I can't breathe. I. I, I can't see. Oh, oh, is Ray? It's great! Mom! Sorry!
Welcome, little human. This place is the absolute emptiness, where nobody can see you, hear you, and where eventually you will be forgotten. What the? But you can at least have the benefit of people knowing that once someone named Frisk shared their life with them. I've been watching you. Don't get me wrong, I see everything. But I focused my attention on humans. I studied them. I observed them. I analyzed them. The world of particularly cruel creatures like you can be. Very beautiful. Enviable. How is it that they do it? Having humanity despite being threats. You are murderers. But despite that, they do not kill each other. Most of the time. I think that is why they are violent with monsters. Because they are weak, sensitive, and have more fragile souls. When they die, they just leave dust behind, and their existence remains in the memories of those who loved them in life. Instead, when humans die, they have souls with the ability to influence others. Even once they are dead, they still have relevance in the order of things that existed. Of what was once, and ever will be. Souls with a purpose. And they become an important tool to save monsters from an eternal confinement that humans imposed on them. Souls that can return to life. Able to return to past events and repeat the same thing over and over again. Obtaining the end they want through the decisions they make. Driven by their determination. The determination that made me put all my attention on you. I've been watching you in each route that you have taken, in all decisions that you have taken. I know everything. I saw everything, even now. You stayed with a passive end because of what I noticed. However, you did the genocide route many, many times before. That makes me doubt when it will be the next time you feel like resetting this world again. You killed all the people you love. What prevents you from doing it again? That will not happen again! They were mistakes! I regret it! I had the stupid curiosity, but I would never do it again! Who are you anyway? Curiosity. That's exactly what I want to talk about with you. You must think it's okay to experiment with the lives of innocent people, as if you were some kind of uh, scientist. But the real scientist here is me. W.D. Gaster. I discovered that once the barrier was destroyed, and I went into the world of humans with this form, some humans could uh, feel my presence. A man of science that I am, I was always incredulous to this type of paranormal phenomenon. Until I became one, as you can see. They can hear me, see me, or even engage in conversation with me. <laughs> Humans are linked to that world of the omnipresent. That which ceased to exist in life, but somehow returns to the world of the living. Man, it's cold. Whispers. I discover new horizons. New capacities! New powers! You are a special human. 
Not only because you can see me, but also because you have something I want. Good morning. That morning. Uh, wait! I'm not part of the luggage! It's late! Too late! Sorry, Johns. Hey, did you forget to have breakfast? I can't. I need a taxi that takes me fast. I'm on it! When I saw the bottles of wine in the kitchen, I knew it! Hmm. It is an honor for the nation to have you, sir. Sons, stop wasting time and help me store my luggage. Yes, Captain. How did you know what would happen, Papyrus? Since you and Sons became friends, you have become very irresponsible, my queen. Eh. Oh, my boys, please tell Frisk that I regret not saying goodbye. Well, they probably wouldn't have woken up. Don't worry, Tori. It's okay. Even so, I feel bad about leaving like this. Take good care of my child. Bye. See you at breakfast, Peps. It seems you have a good life, child. But for now, I don't want to interfere too much. Uh. Hey, morning, kiddo. Sorry, Toriel already left, but... Hey, kiddo! 